Hi, everybody. Um, first of all, um, I really enjoyed the, the previous one. We have worked with a lot of uh, mothers who were also working, and it's been uh, it's challenging, but it's um, I think it's fulfilling also for the mothers who work with us, and also um, and also for us as well. So, I want to talk about single sourcing. Um, in the in the past, um, our trick was to take one source of content and make it into multiple sources, multiple deliveries. Whether you're taking a, a documentation and moving into Word and moving it into uh, HTML or PDF. These days, I think our, our world has gotten a lot more complicated. So if we talk about the different types of sources, um, we have documentation. Let me move this through this and uh, see if the, here we go. Oops. Let me go up a little bit. So we have, whoa. <laughs> the, uh, the the connection here is pretty slow. So these days we have not just documentation that we're dealing with, but all kinds of other stuff like API documentation and product information and knowledge articles, community discussions, learning and training. We had an unconference recently, a little while ago, and we we're talking about this that that a lot of content in our company is not just about documentation, even though it's maybe the largest volume of content. There's still a lot of technical content that's out there that can be useful for our customers. Um, so the question is how to deal with all this content. So in the past, we had technical content, which had its own workflow of, 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 of tools that were being used to, to author that content and manage that content and deliver that content. Um, and then we also have you know, different repositories for that and how that got done. So the, this content would go to a documentation portal or developers portal or partners portal. A lot of us are very familiar with those. But now that nowadays we have other people in the organization like product managers and developers who are trying to, you know, to create content that's useful and they're using tools and they're, they're publishing that content out as well as knowledge articles that support people who are also creating articles and support information. And they're trying to get that content out, but their content's not really going where our content's going. Their content's really going other places like support portals and communities and chatbots and things like that. And then we have other types of content like community discussions and we have learning management systems and people in the, in the company who are creating training material. So I'm just going to turn off the video because I think it's really slow. Um, so, so these days, the ecosystem that we have is, has gone way, way beyond single source where we had like one or two documents or publications that we needed to get out onto a web help or to a dot com site or to our documentation portal. And nowadays we have a lot more content than the organization, all of it, which can be used to serve our customers. And the question is really how to make sense out of this. Now it gets even worse when, when a lot of this content is being generated by a plethora of different tools whether it be technical documentation tools that a lot of you are familiar with in different repositories and different ways of getting that content out, or whether it's API documentation, et cetera. And then those product people have their confluence in Google Docs and, and knowledge articles. They're used creating content in Zendesk and all kinds of tools. The community people are creating their own tools, learnings. So it basically becomes one big, um, big challenge. So I'd like to say that, uh, that we've been seeing this a lot in larger organizations as organizations grow, especially as they grow by, by acquisition. And the question really has been coming, like how to resolve this, this, uh, this challenge of having not just single sources, but many, many different sources, and not, not just having one delivery channel, but many, many delivery channels. How can we make things more efficient? How can we, how can we get content into, into a, a smaller number of channels where our customers are going to? And how we can be much more efficient. And then these days, also the question about ChatGPT is also more and more um, a discussion. So we've been hearing more and more in the industry is this idea of what's called headless content or con content co orchestration. The idea being where we're not just pushing content to one source to one channel uh, or one another source to another channel, but a way that we can really aggregate all this content in a way that's uh, that we can aggregate it in one single way, put it to uh, to channels that that we're not making our customers go all over the place, and also be GPT ready as well. Meaning, if we need to be able to train a language model to get much more uh, much more content into there, then um, then this brings us much more readiness as well. Thank you very much, Rose. Thank you for your uh, for showing me the showing me the door, and I hope this was interesting. <laughs>